Here we're going to look at using Pythagorean theorem to solve for any side of a right triangle. So they could tell you these two, or these two, or these two. If it's a three-part formula, right, the two short sides and the one longer side, called the legs and the hypotenuse. And so the two short sides squared added up to the, the long side squared. So we'll just replace all our values, regardless of which two out of three they actually tell you. We can always find the other ones. And so in our problem, A, one of our short sides is 10, B, one of our short sides is 12, and then C, our longer side in this one is X. So the thing we don't know, so we're trying to get X by itself. So 10 squared is 100, 12 squared is 144. So we can add those together, we get 244. And now notice we have a squared on x. So if I want to get rid of a squared, what can I do? We'll take the square root of both sides, which technically means I have to do plus or minus. But think in this one, you can kind of throw away the negative case and only think about the positive one, because this is supposed to be the length of something. I can't have a negative length. And they tell you in the directions to round to the nearest hundredth. So in this one, the square root doesn't work out nicely. We can just say what is about the square root of 244. So take it in our calculator and we get x equals 15.6204, you know, and on and on because it's an irrational number. So the nearest hundredth, here's the tens place, here's the hundredths, and it definitely doesn't round up because the next number is zero, not bigger than a five. So it looks like 15.62 units.